Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata. Let's hop right into a message for whichever king or queen, element or zodiac that's in the deck, Holy Spirit. Who do you have a message for at this time, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. Messages. I hope you all are doing good today. Mm, let's see. I just saw Aries, Scorpio. Okay, let's see what the message is. The Oracle messages are for my Scorpio collective, Holy Spirit. What would you like for my Scorpios to know at this time, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. What are the messages from the universe for my Scorpios at this time? You could be a Scorpio or you could be dealing with the Scorpio. But Holy Spirit, what are the messages? For Scorpios, messages for or about Scorpios at this time. Because for some reason, I'm picking up on a cross watching energy. Let's see, Holy Spirit. Let's do one more show for you guys. And we're going to see. We're going to make this a quick message. I don't have that much time. So let's see. Scorpios, messages for my Scorpios, please. And thank you. Lightworker, Starseed. Who's going to save your soul now? Okay. So Scorpio, y'all in this energy. I feel like some of you have really tapped into who you truly are, who you were created to be. That you are some type of light worker, star seed energy. And with this who's going to save your soul now, I think you realize that a lot of people were harvesting your energy to survive and maintain. They knew who you were, but you didn't know who you were. Okay, they knew who you, they know who you are. They always knew who you were, Scorpio. But you didn't know who you were. But now you know who you are. That's what I'm hearing. Order my steps, it's a setup. I'm telling you, these people knew that you were divine. These people knew that you had divine energy. These people were maintaining their livelihood, I just heard, off of your energy. Some of y'all could be married. Some of y'all could have married a bad witch. And this bad witch has been harvesting your energy. Okay? But I feel like something happened. So you had some type of epiphany about your spiritual gifts and abilities and now you are truly asking the divine, the most high God, the Holy Spirit, even for a lot of us to order your steps, okay? That's the energy here. You realize that who you were even married to was in this set up energy against you. And you're probably telling this person, we have queen divorced. You know, who's going to save your soul now? Because... You put this person in a position of authority and ranking in your life, but you divorcing this person. Somebody got a divorce from a bad witch who they thought was a queen, but they realized that this person was really setting them up to steal their energy. This Scorpio knows who he is, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? And he knows who this bad witch ain't. Water, lake, take flight. You may be about to travel, Scorpios. You may be, may be about to take a trip, maybe a cruise or take a flight somewhere, okay? Maybe going across a body of water up or an ocean here, taking flight. You know, it's giving world traveling energy here for some of y'all, Okay. But you separated yourself from whoever this person was here. I'm going to put these here. And you've been asking God to order your steps moving forward. And I feel like God is taking you in different directions. You know, God is about to introduce you to a whole new world type vibe here. Okay, Scorpios, for some of y'all, that's what's going to happen. It's only up from here. Okay, and what's done in the dark will come to light with snake right behind that. Okay, so y'all done found out that you was married. Some of y'all, somebody in my Scorpio collective or either one of y'all dealing with this Scorpio, 
This Scorpio may be your divine masculine, I just heard, but he realized he was married to a, a snake and whatever this person has done in the dark, it has come to light. So let's see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know about this. Holy Spirit, what type of insight and guidance do you have for us regarding this energy that's out here? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. What is it that you would like for us to know? Holy Spirit, we are grateful. Dying. Somebody don't want us to talk about this, Holy Spirit. Somebody don't want to be exposed, Holy Spirit. That's what I'm picking up on real heavy. But what's done in the dark will always come to light. People don't realize that. People don't get that. But let's see, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to get about this energy at this time, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's do one more shuffle, y'all. What is the insight and guidance that you have for us, Holy Spirit? Messages, messages. The Scorpio feel like they were set up. And look what came out. Six of Cups. Whoever this bad witch is that they've divorced, this person, they reconnected with this person. And they feel like someone set them up to reconnect with this energy here. And they probably did. Clarify the Six of Cups. Justice. I just had to press my glasses up off my nose, child, okay? Somebody most definitely was trying to enact some sort of karmic justice against a Scorpio by sending in this bad witch to reconnect with him. He definitely was set up here, Ace of Cups. Okay? This person fell head over heels for this bad witch, but the fact that they coming out here as a bad witch, but this person, this Scorpio, saw them as a queen, you already know some type of spell work was involved. This person did something calculated with the Seven of Wands, a very calculated risk that caused the Scorpio to be in a tower. Okay? They caused some type of challenges for the Scorpio that let him know that this was not the queen he thought they were, that in fact they were the snake energy. What did this Six of Cups do? Death out here may have tried to even cause this person's death here. Some type of... This Scorpio realizes that this possibly a cancer with the Six of Cups and this moon energy, king of cups right behind that. Y'all, this Scorpio didn't realize that his, this bad witch he married that he thought was his queen actually set him up. Possibly tried to set him up to MDK. Y'all know what that stand for. Okay, unaliveness energy out here. And he has discovered that this person tried to have him unalived here. I'm picking this shit up real heavy, real bad. He realized he married a whole snake and these people have gotten a divorce. A divorce, excuse me. He's also realized that this person was utilizing his energy somehow, temperance. The Most High God stepped in and, and saved this Scorpio, so you better know that. And this is why he is in this order my steps energy. He knows that it could have really hit rock bottom in his life. He really could have lost his life. So this person is taking flight. They are really truly going to step into their spiritual divine calling, their divine purpose, because this was what was probably needed to wake this Scorpio up. Three of Swords, this heartbreak, this disappointment, this ending of this, this romantic relationship. Because I'm telling you, this man thought he was married to a queen child. This moon energy here, Ten of Pentacles, you think I'm playing. This man thought he was in a divine partnership. When in actuality, this one was utilizing his energy and may have possibly, I'm hearing may have possibly set him up to 
be unalive so they could get the insurance, honey, the inheritance, honey. I just heard that shit. This man is very disappointed in the actions of this so-called queen he, he wifed up, okay? That's why you got to be careful. That's why you got to be careful. Nine of Swords. This man is in the Five of Cups and the Nine of Swords, but he's going to recover. Okay, I feel like he may even have a child or children with this Page of Cups who are giving him love, showing him love, helping him through this emotional risk that he took that did cause some type of loss for him. Okay, because he was giving to and receiving from this hoe, this bad witch snake energy here. I'm telling y'all, this woman... This woman was trying to take this man Ten of Pentacles. This woman was trying to take his inheritance. This man got children that this money probably would have went to anyway, okay? I think this whoever this bad witch snake energy was, this Scorpio married, they thought that if they were married to him, they would have first dibs on whatever type of inheritance or money this Scorpio has. It was 11-11 when I said that. But in reality, I feel like this Scorpio has things set up that these Page of Cups energies in his life or who or who or who will actually receive this wealth that he has with the Six of Pentacles. That's how it was set up for that's who was set up to receive his wealth anyway, as it fucking should be. Okay? So this bad witch ain't shit. And she had the game wrong as well. Okay. What is what's done in the dark will come to life. Like, and this woman, you know, who's going to save your soul now speaks to, also speaks to the level of heinous, snakish behavior she participated in. And people are really looking at this, this so-called queen he married, like she ain't shit. And nobody got respect for her. People know what she did to this Scorpio, how she tried to set him up, three of cups. And this, I'm telling you, he was married to this energy. He was celebrating with this energy. But now this masculine is feeling like he has a new zest for life. Like it's time for him to take flight, to truly live and experience life the way he was designed to be as this light worker starseed energy because of this tragedy, this almost tragedy that he experienced. He thought he was going to celebrate and have this great life with this so-called queen. And this hoe was trying to ha have him taken out the game. Literally. This out here. For money. For some type of ten of pentacles inheritance that he has. This man really is having to re-examine some things though. To fully embody this light worker star seed energy. He's truly looking at confirmation he's looking at a lot of his relationships he's looking at a lot of his relationships he's really examining the vibration of these partnerships and connections that he's in with other people because of how sure he was that he was with a queen okay and he was actually with a snake that's why that tried to have him unalive for his inheritance and some type of insurance that wasn't even going to go to her anyway. Okay. Wow. What else, Holy Spirit? Anything else we need to know here? Eight of Cups. And this is, he's walking away from a lot of people. Because I'm telling you, somebody put this masculine back onto this bad witch. He knew this person. He had had some type of past connection with them. But somebody re -put, reintroduced this man back into this woman's life. And he, he got their ass up under judgment as well. Possibly a King of Wands, a Leo Aries Sagittarius energy, who told this man to invest into this woman. And this woman then tried to take him out the game for real. Y'all think I'm playing? Y'all think I'm playing? Yeah, they did it. Any final messages, y'all? I'm going to have to close this one out. Any final messages? The chariot, I'm telling you, it was a cancer that this, this king of wands encouraged the Scorpio to take action with, to try to 
chart a course in life with, to make an offer to, to build a home with, okay? But that karmic cycle in this masculine's life is over. He knows exactly who he should trust and who he shouldn't trust. And if he don't know, he learning, okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit, got to go, got to go. Anything else, the sun, I'm telling you. And this man is revitalizing his life. That's what this water take flight energy is. He's definitely about to chart a new course in his life. And it may be towards an empress here. Empress with the ace of wands. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. And I'm dropping the mic. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance. Yes, baby, I'm coming. I'm going to finish you helping you eat your oatmeal. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.